What's up YouTube? What's going on? Just finished the book Iced and I thought I would just do a quick video giving a review about it, share my thoughts and discuss the topic of icing itself when it comes to injuries and just share my opinions. So firstly, the book Dice is by Gary Rhino, forward by Dr. Kelly Starrett and Gabe Merkin who is an MD. So overall reading this book, I enjoyed it for the most part. Um, I thought some of the stories by Gary were a little bit repetitive so I felt like he kept saying some of the same information over and over again, uh, which can, in a sense, just like I mentioned, get repetitive. But the overall topic of icing when it comes to injuries, I totally get his argument and where he's coming from. And the whole argument against icing for injuries essentially revolves around the fact that if you were to apply ice to a damaged tissue or to an injury or an injured area, what you're doing essentially is you're vasoconstricting your blood vessels. So by vasoconstricting your blood vessels, you're reducing blood flow and nutrients to the injured area. So that means you may be del delaying recovery. So you're not getting the nutrients needed for repair because you've just basically shut off those blood vessels in theory by applying the ice. At the same time too, is now you're limiting the ability to remove waste product because you've also vasoconstricted so waste product may build up in the injured area and you're not allowing it for to be removed. So there you have two major issues that essentially may be going on. And that's the whole kind of concept where Gary is coming from in terms of how icing may delay recovery when it comes to injuries. And in my opinion, I actually agree with Gary. I am in complete agreement with him. I think he is... Uh, 100% right on that and the reason I say that is because if you apply ice or if you freeze any sort of tube when you think about it that tube it's gonna be harder to move any sort of fluid through it so the conduction is gonna be much slower through it because you froze it essentially whereas if it were more warm or at least at a neutral temperature it'd be easier for the flow of a fluid through there to be much easier so that's where icing can become problematic in terms of recovery. Now this book was, I believe, up to date until 2014. And there are a few research studies that were conducted showing it actually delays recovery. Now, it does show that icing is proven to help in pain relief. Now that's not really a, an argument there. That's pretty much proven that ice will provide pain relief. And I've mentioned this before, but when it comes to recovery and we start icing things, that's where we may actually be delaying the process. And so Gary actually suggests that we may actually be creating a backflow and in increased swelling by applying ice. So the whole concept of increasing swelling by applying ice is that because we vasoconstricted, we now cannot remove that waste product and it's just gonna build up and back up into the injured area. And that would not be a good thing. And at the same time, when we talk about the concept of inflammation, a lot of people talk about how inflammation, when we apply ice, that we're reducing inflammation, but no one ever questions why is it necessary to reduce inflammation. Inflammation is part of the recovery process. Now, yes, excessive inflammation may be bad, but should we actually be reducing inflammation? Could that actually be delaying recovery? So overall, it's um, a good book and that's kind of where the main argument around icing comes from and I agree with Gary on it. Um, just coming from my personal experience with my back injury, but I mean that's just my back injury. The important thing to understand too is when it comes to icing, what injury are you icing or maybe are you applying heat to? Is it a tendon, ligament, is it bone, is it a muscle? All these are going to be impacted differently from a physiological point of view and it's really hard to pinpoint what may occur as there's just not enough research in my opinion right now that it's out there actually looking at this topic in effect. Um, but I mean, in the future, we'll probably see more research coming out on this topic specifically and actually looking at the effects or impact that ice does have on recovery. And the other thing I will say too, is that the cool thing about this book was that it actually kind of showed and Gary kind of talked about where the whole ice age or the whole icing concept started. And it started back and I believe it was 1962 and what you mentioned in the book when an individual had severed their arm 
and doctors had applied ice onto the severed arm and they were able to reattach it and then the whole media, mainstream media, jumped on this and just basically said that ice is, should be used for everything after this whole miracle happened and ice should be applied to every injury. So that's where the whole icing concept came from. But there wasn't really any research on it and people were just applying ice. And yes, it's true that it works for pain relief, but for recovery, I'll be on the side of Gary well, I, where I believe it actually does delay recovery and injuries. Uh, that's just my opinion on it though. And that's the book. Overall, pretty good book. Like I said, things are a little bit repetitive though, but for, I think it was about 20 bucks I paid for the book. Definitely a, worth a read for sure in my opinion. And I'd recommend it for anyone that is just looking to maybe fans through education a little bit or become a little bit more of a critical thinker um, around this topic. And if maybe they just have an interest in ice or maybe heat or whatever. Um, yeah, that's it for this little review guys though. Um, oh, and lastly, I just wanted to mention too that uh, in this book too, so not using the ice concept, Gary recommends more of a movement concept or muscle activation concept to help with recovery. So doing pain-free movement, doing uh, pain-free muscle activation activities for injuries. It kind of reminds me of similar of what kind of McGill mentions with his lower, lower back stuff and all the whole lower back injuries where we should be doing movement pain-free um, with regards to recovery and whatnot. So that's good. And like, I completely agree with Gary on that too. So I just wanted to share that with you guys though. Good book, definitely recommend it. Um, but yeah, that's it for this little book review. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, take care.